just yeah, introduce yourself. Tell us a little bit about your, you know, your background, your journey from, you know, studying all the way back in 2010, as you said, to having a dream to get into to cybersecurity. Yeah. So now- when, when I started my engineering at uh, that time, the computers are introduced in the world that my and my dad said no don't go into there and I was like why they, they, he was thinking that's there is no future there mm-hmm. so but I forced him no I won't really wants to do it and um, it's true that time we I faced a lot of hurdle within the college uh, because teachers are not trained and things like that but somehow I finished my degree with the good marks and everything um, then I got married and then we had little, my daughter, and then uh, my sister was expecting. So I moved to Australia. I mm-hmm. just came to visit a visa and then uh, I thought, no, this is that country. I can stay there. <laughs> so, so I started in dental industry and a uh, few years working with them and I decided to move in IT with them. So I worked two years with them as an IT admin and then uh, I thought, no, now my, we got PR, now I can apply and do my certifications here. So I applied for the certification, then I done certificate three, then I thought, no, I have to do certificate four as well, because it was interesting, the cybersecurity certificate four we have. Yes. So I started uh, certificate four. Uh, during that time, I start applying jobs in IT. And I got a lot of rejections, <laughs> yeah. a lot of rejections. So you can't believe it. I just hundred plus I apply for the jobs Yeah. And, and I applied in data three approximate 10 times wow. and I got rejected every time mm-hmm. because when you do cybersecurity courses or um, especially when I done certificate four, I don't know where I want to go because mm-hmm. they give you the information, broad information everywhere in every sector. Yep. So I thought, I don't know where I want to go, which is which part is this penetration is good for me or the support is good for me. I don't know. It's tough. So, yeah, it's tough. It, even, um, we speak to a lot of, I think this is why your story resonates with so many people because there's so many people out there who do four years at university. They put yeah. in so much time, so much money and effort. And then, as you said, that's where the big universities stop. They don't really help them with job placement. And no. They, you have to figure out, okay, I, how, I, how do I get a job? Yeah, I told so many of my friends who, who were with me in the certificate four and they decided to do diploma. They decided to do four-year degree. I told them, don't go there. Don't go on that path. I can understand, frustrate you because you're not getting the job, but don't leave the hope. Keep applying the job. Yeah. Someone will get you in. Yes. Um, I know there's entry jobs and people still asking for the experience, which is so, so I just feel like this is so stupid. Very frustrating. Isn't you it? are looking for an entry level job. How, how can you ask experience for experience from that person, mm-hmm. especially who have done a four year degree, who done certifications, they have hands on. Yep. Like I'm working, I'm doing certification with cyber CX, with you cyber resolution. Mm-hmm. That's I'm doing hands on. Mm-hmm. If they're still asking me after finishing all the uh, certification, if they ask me, no, you don't have experience, so we can't hire you. So it's it 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 the all people get frustrated because they're putting everywhere money. Exactly, and so this is the big difference with you know our placement partners and what you've done as well. Yeah, you it's there are still organisations out there that are yeah true. Essentially, they're scared to hire somebody without experience. Yeah. there are a lot of businesses out there. But yeah, now there are some, especially like say CyberCX, which is Australia's fastest growing Fast going, yeah. consultancy. They yeah. understand that they want people with a base level of skills and good skills, practice. Yeah, true. But yeah. it's the attitude. Like attitude. you're clearly very tenacious. You're, you know, you know what you want and yeah. you go after it. And yeah. I think you're very coachable and trainable as well. It's because you're going to learn a lot in the next six months at CyberSea. Yeah, true. I really want to learn. And I really want to, uh, I, I think, uh, after I finish my core with the uh, with the CyberSea six months training, I probably want to tr- tell students what to do and where they have to go in cybersecurity. From my point of view, I didn't know that. Yeah. I've done certificate three. And after certificate three, I just feel like I waste so much money. Mm-hmm. I don't know where I am. I'm to. I have to go, and no one is there to help you out. 
yeah. to tell you at least starting point. Yeah. You don't know the starting point either. And how did that how did that kind of make you feel? Ah, uh, it's feel like when you don't know the starting point, you frustrate. Mm. You 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 can see the frustration in you building, because I was that much frustrated. I just keep whinging to my husband. <laughs> my husband said, "Oh my goodness, just you get the job. Come on, yeah. <laughs> don't frustrate. Yeah. No, don't talk to me." Um. And you can see within your family, you are irritated and uh, just shouting in your house and things like that. So somewhere you have to stop. You you know that something is not right in you because of something else and yep. you have to stop. How was your experience with CyberCX? Was it more- Oh, that was a lovely experience I had with CyberCX. Um, they told me that, look, this is not going to be a technical interview. They straightforward told me when they booking my interview, they told me this is not going to be a um, technical and relax. Don't worry about it. It's so so good. they generally ask questions, your personal life or personal experience with work or in your personal life. Mm. So they ask me the question related to that and you can pretty much give you the answer. I, I think they're checking your confidence. They're checking how you managed yeah. and uh, they're checking how capable you are are doing any of the tasks yeah so I, they look that well, what they what they check as well we've had a few students go through that pathway is yeah. like more of your soft skills communication yeah. skills presentation skills yes but also true. your um critical thinking skills mm. i think with your background in computer engineering we helped a lot of engineers and they've got those overlapping skills of problem solving and how to think critically yeah and if you can do that well and you enjoy that, then yeah. I think cybersecurity is a good kind of career pathway for you. Yeah, yeah, that is true. So, yeah, that's that's it. So I will, um, they are very lovely. They keep calling me, talking to me, and they're saying, right. don't worry about it. You will be good here. Um, so that's lovely that, like, they're literally looking after yeah. your, like, people, like, who joining the new person in the company. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. I love it. So we'll see how I, I go. Very <laughs> And so I guess if we backtrack a little bit, like what was it, like why cybersecurity for you? Uh, look, cyber, why cybersecurity? Main is uh, when I, I just think how the hackers thinks, how the attacks happens, what, what happened if, I, if anything happened with me, how I can recognize. So there's a lot of question was in my mind Good. and yeah, it's money, but I, I don't think so. I'm going for money. I just want to learn. I mm. want to know how, how can I see uh, the people are attacking me or there's a phishing page uh, and things like that. So I can secure myself, my family. I can tell my family and I work in an organization where I can uh, get the real experience. So that's yeah. why that's, that's me. Um, that's my attraction towards security. Awesome. I think with you as well, yes, money is important and you yeah. know, it's, it's a good paying industry, but yeah. for you also, what's really, really exciting and yeah. you know, you might not have put too much thought into this yet is the yeah. career progression. Yeah. Cybersecurity has been around for decades, but decades, yeah. Really, only especially like CyberCX was only started in 2019. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and now they've got thousands of staff. Thousands, yeah. So you can rise the ranks really, really quickly there. So that must excite you too. Yes, true. And it's, it's other thing is people like working in support. People like working in pen testing. I don't know. I can. I. I might go in there. Um, but the thing is, if if you love what you are doing, then you enjoy your job and you focus more into it. Mm -hmm. If you're just doing for money, you're not going to be longer in that job. They, everyone can see in you that you are interested in there or not. Yeah. yeah. So that's why I want to yeah. do it. Perfect. And where do you see yourself? And it's, it's okay if you don't have the answer to it, but like, where do yes. you see yourself in two to three years time? Um, in two or three years time, I just feel like um, progressing within the organization to a point where I'm well respected in cybersecurity role. Uh, but I also taken on further responsibility. I believe within two, three years, um, I will have proven myself as a invaluable and trusted member of the organization. 
Mm-hmm. I would also, um, uh, I, w- I love to train people as well in the, in the cybersecurity, if awesome. I get the chance, yep. like new students or uh, whosoever newbie start. So it's good to explain them, give them my experience to them. Yep. Yeah, that's yep. what I want to do. Yeah. So I just do, I know people are struggling because I, uh, I had uh, 30 student classes in my TAF and where the students don't know where they want to go and they don't know, they don't have experience and all are got frustrated after they finished their course and yep. they, they, they couldn't get entry level job. That's a big thing. It's a big thing, right? Because they're left to Very do Very big thing. Um, and I guess with a big part of that is like the transparency throughout your studies. I know what yeah. we really want to do is each and every week you can catch up with Reese. I think was your student support officer. Yes. And just chat about how you're feeling. What, you know, what do you, what are you enjoying with the It's course? very important. I just feel like that um, when I saw your uh, ads on the fa- F- Facebook, uh, I saw a lot of Facebook ads, but I, I, that what attracted you because I saw that after finishing your course, there is a support for the job. Mm-hmm. And generally, you can't see anywhere else, which is big thing uh, for uh, whosoever struggling for a long time and wants to do such a certification, but they don't want to struggle after certifications. Yeah. Um, my first thing is with the uh, with the cyber resolution is that I attracted like you help you're going to help me with the job. So I have in my mind, okay, don't worry if you finish your if your uh, certification you no need to worry about your job. They will help you out. Yeah. Uh, other part, I, what I like that you people are chase. I like that, that you keep focusing on the students, keep asking them. They are struggling anywhere. Keep talking to them, keep supporting them. Um, if they are down somewhere, you just, um, you just uh, uh, put energy on them that, okay, mm-hmm. no, no, you can do it. So I like that, that you keep calling and keep uh, up to date uh, with us as well. Yeah, so, really, yeah. really important. I think that's very important. And yeah. I like the when I'm doing the labs with you guys that the back end team is very active too. It's not mm-hmm. like they are not acting. They keep coming back to you and uh, telling you what you need to do again and things like that. So yeah. yeah. It's important because I think with studying online, even if you've got the support, yeah. One bad day can easily turn into two bad days, True. which can turn into a bad week, bad month. That if happened. You know, that happened to me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. And if no one's there to kind of go, wait a second, we need to get back online and back, back on online. Okay. Yeah. True. Then you can just drift off and it can fall into the two. Yeah. yeah. That I loved it. Like guys told Ray, uh, I'm falling behind now. I don't know where from I start. I'm very, very worried. And then he said, don't worry, relax. So when I say to him, I'm going to do five, uh, my modules, he said, no, do three. And he's true. Like, I think he knew. And he said, no, do three. And I end up with the three, not the five. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, yes, you are right. How you know yeah. that? Yeah. So yeah. He, he, I think that he, uh, like you guys understand the students, um, if they tell you their problems, do you understand like how you can manage your studies and don't take too much stress as well? Mm. So I like that. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, great. And I guess um, t- tell us a little bit about your the study experience that you've had in regards to you know, learning new skills. How's it been jumping in and learning some new practical skills in the labs? It was good. It's very good because uh, it give boost your confidence that uh, if like it boosts my confidence giving my uh, interview with the uh, Sun Group because I was not afraid that time that, oh, I don't know what they're going to ask me and how I'm going to answer them uh, as a technical point of view. Um because I, I was studying Network Plus at the moment. So um, I thought, let's do my labs and it's boost my confidence. And they asked me questions. So I pretty much, not all of the answers I gave them are right, but yeah, few of them. Hmm. And uh, which, um, which I was happy with that. Yeah. Yeah. It's important, I think, to know theoretical is important, yeah. the theory, but 
unless you know how practical, to... Yeah, practical clear you more. It's relate your theory. If you read theory and don't do practical, it don't, don't make sense. Like, it's yep. like a food. If you're eating, a, if you see a food, if you don't eat, you don't know the taste. You yep. can't say that food is good or bad yep. by, by looking at it. So that's the same thing. Uh, yep. So you have to work on um, your labs so you, you can see the result mm. and it give you this real sort of scenario. So I like that. Yep. Yep. Great. Great. I guess. And, and um, last thing as well, like I think the big thing with you, we speak to so many people who almost have their wall up or their guard up after they've done a university degree and they've applied for 50 yeah. or 100 jobs before they come to us. Yeah. They come to us thinking, you know what? It's impossible. The industry, I can't get a job. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to give up. Like, I yeah. guess what you say to, to those people. Yeah. Uh, I said to those people, don't give up. Never, ever try to give up things. Um, uh, and I think take that word out from your dictionary or from your mind that give up. If you give up, you literally give up. Mm. So do focus, do your studies, keep applying the jobs, um, read what they are looking for and uh, uh, find out your path or certification towards that. And I think um, Cyber Illusion is a very good platform. I, I've, I just tried a lot of. So I found very, um, very, very good. So do certification with you guys and keep applying between there, then and there because they consider as soon as they see in the resume that you are preparing for the certification because no company, Israeli companies are there that they want to pay for certifications. But if they know you are pursuing for the certification, they will see your like, they, they are willing to learn yeah so keep applying don't give up i i just throw out that word in my dictionary completely and what is the role that you're going into now associate um uh associate consultant associate consultant GSE. Right? Yeah. okay great and i know you haven't started it yet but you know yeah. like like do you know what that will involve at all or are you just going to go in there and just learn look i don't know <laughs> I literally don't know. I'm happy yeah. to tell you after that I would, when I got trained and things, I understand because I yeah. know the GRC, but I don't know how it works at well, all. I have a lot of videos and things, but still, I, I, I can't explain you till, till, until I get the experience there. No, I think that's awesome. You're going yeah. in with no expectations. You're just no. going to go in there and the next six months is going to be a huge learning experience. Learning. I think it would be really, really cool if we catch up again <laughs> In six yeah, months. true, true. Yeah, six months. Because yeah. I've got a feeling you're going to be in, like you're going to learn a lot in the next six months. <laughs> I hope so. I've, I've, I'm thinking that way as well.